Yo, Big Sant here. Welcome to my Grand Blue Fantasy Relink video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the best character in the game during Link time. You probably guessed it, Gondagoza. Oh, he's dead now. And this is also going to be a video on how to play as Gondagoza and my end game build that maximizes. Link time and damage. Charge attack. And that also ties into the rage that he has. So we go to the character details. Um, rage can stack to up to 10 and that's a unique resource. You notice if I start attacking. Um, like, oh, I can do this. I get rage. That's the, that's the rage on right there. 3 out of 10. And that's like super slow, right? Right now, zero. That's how slow it is. But if you do combo finishers or link attacks or some skills like the one I just did gives you extra rage, um, you actually get um, rage. That gives you five. Just the basic ground combo gives you five. And you know, this is a lot faster. This is how much damage it does 700k. But. There's another combo finisher here. If you time it correctly, if you time it right after you hit, not before you hit or when you hit, right after you hit or when the move finishes, because you can kind of do this. Oh, never mind. Auto targeted. Boom, you get seven. So this one gives you seven. Slightly faster, 1.2 mil. Um, you can do it off here right after the move finishes. Right? That's the enhanced one. There's another one that can, another combo finisher that also gives you rage. And it's the aerial combo. So you jump, you, this one only three attacks. Boom, five rage instantly. And link attacks obviously give you three rage. So if you want to be quick, you want to land the combo finisher, you want to get 10. Um, you can do the aerial combo one. But there's a risk to doing the aerial combo one. If you miss, you don't get any rage. If you're on a ground combo, if you miss, you get like five, right? You miss your timing is what I'm saying. If you miss your timing. Um, so if you miss, let's listen. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I have an auto attack. If you miss, like you miss the timing, you don't get any rage. And uh, the second risk is that you can't use any skills while you're in the air. So if you're trying to counter or whatever. That's also bad. And thirdly, your air dodge is like crap. It's like, it's just like this. <laughs> it barely goes anywhere. Just like a spot dodge in a way. That is your air dodge. So that's the risk of it, but you do get your um, rage faster. So I usually jump if I need like five rage, I just jump, do my combo, right? And I press Y to chop down and then I just go straight into charging if that was the 10th one. Otherwise, I jump again. This is good if it's like you're fighting units that are like a lot of uh, faster than you. And you want to just get quick 5 hit combos. To get 5 rage instantly. Right? If they're like kind of slow and whatever, you can just do the regular one. But, do note that it only gives you 7. Right? Link attack gives you 3. So if you can kind of do like 7 and 3, you get 10. Um... You can do this rage thing that also give you three. So that gives you ten. So it's kinda like low-key math too at the same time. You see which combo do you want to use, right? And full blast, boom, hella fast, 2.1 mil. Alright, so that's the basics. Uh this is roll, right? It's it's pretty decent standard roll. <laughs> uh we can also do his his SBA. All right, so that's his main gist of it. Now we have his skills. So my favorite is the Iron Shoulder. It's just a closing gap closer. Second one is this, this R Hat Skybreaker or Hot Skybreaker, however you want to pronounce it. I like it because you can jump in the air. If you do it at the right time, you can dodge some ground attacks. Um. This one gives you rage. I mostly use this for the three rage. It's like super quick. 
and it give attack boost, but most of the time uh, everyone's capped anyway, so it's whatever. But I just use it for rage. You can also use this lion stance. It gives you stout heart, which means you can't be interrupted, which is nice if you want to just hit and you have drain or whatnot, and then you just keep hitting them through their attacks and heal it back. Um, I don't know if this jam is useful because you're hitting. I'm hitting damage cap right now. I don't have any attacks of Joe's. Um, and then the last one I like to use is this one. Because this one actually gives you rage. If you counter, you get 5 rage. Straight up. So that's another skill that can give you extra rage while doing combo finisher. Um, Inferno Stomp is good, but it does have a long cast time. Just to start it off. But you inflict slow. So if you want like 3 attacks, you can take out the counter and put this in. Sometimes it's useful, especially against um, the final boss. This one also gives you rage, it's instant, but this one has long cast time too. So sometimes when I want to cast it, they're either gone or whatnot, and then I can't do it. So I prefer this one and I like to combo in so I can like move and, and do stuff at the same time. This one removes buffs. It doesn't remove dizzy though. Uh so I'm mostly I'm guessing it's mostly the ones that you can like actually move. <laughs> like sand tomb or frostbite and whatever you can use this. It heals you too. So let's go over some like kind of advanced tech kind of thing. Um, so one thing you can do is that if you're kind of far away, and you want to get there, you can like charge and just roll. Just just keep doing that, right? But if you roll too much, you're gonna lose it. So that's that's one way to hold it, just a little bit, just to get some extra distance in case they move away a little bit. Oh yeah, quick note, I forgot to mention that his uh, Gonzalo's skills and his charge attack have super armor, just by like default. You still get hit and you still take the damage, but you, you can power right through it. <laughs> also, I want to say that with the charge attack, you can also parry, because the, in the Mastery Tree, you can get the charge parry. So if you time your punch correctly, you can actually iframe. And get them the visibility just like you're dodging. All right, let's talk about my build for Ganondoza. Obviously, you want the Terminus weapon that you get from the final Proud boss, right? The Sky Piercer, which has damage cap increase, damage cap increase, Sigil Booster, Catastrophe, which gives you damage cap, and then gives you regen. And you for the imbuing traits, you want stun power. Since Ganadoza want to get to link time as fast as possible, Stun Power allows you to get that blue bar. It does more damage to that blue bar to get to the link attack faster. And then the link attack will cause um, you to come in and punch it, right? And that in that turn, you need the link together. The link together goes well with it because link together gives you extra link level gain. So that percentage will be higher than... If you didn't have it, and you also do more damage with it, and it also give chain burst damage and SPA damage, which is nice. And for this build, you will want damage cap five, four of them, because when you get to four, you can get at least to sixty-five. Because you're gonna get cap. Like right now, I don't have anything to buff myself in terms of attack, and um, I'm still hitting the cap. So I wish I can get more, but that's what it is. And since Gamadoza needs a lot of Charge attacks and charge attacks obviously take some time, right? Without it, it's gonna take longer. But if you have quick charge, you need two of those because they go to level 30 and also give you attack boost. But you want to hit level 30, 30% 30 uh, minus charge time. And with that, you want stun power. So you want to at least have like two of these. So I think I'm running one right now. For the time being, I'm trying to see if I can get stun power on one of my damage caps or link together. Um, so that is the main, that's the end plan, but I haven't got there yet. So I got this with quick charge. So these are my two quick charges with stun power, which is great. Um, had, you want to get auto revive and guts on one of these, just any of them. And I'm running supplement damage because uh, I hit the damage cap and the supplement damage is taking that big chunk and then giving a portion of it back. So it's like over the damage cap. So let's just say I do 2.1 mil. If I hit the, the supplement damage, it does an extra 400k, which is great. Um, I used to have Krabby Resonance here. Um, it's good in the beginning of the game, but at the end game, I'm still hitting damage cap without it. So I put in Stealth Heart. Stealth heart. I do want to 
you could also put in some any defensive um schedule that you want but i put out hard so you can at least your damage uh your counter not counters your combos without getting interrupted right so that's what the, i think there's a hidden mechanic too to give you defense right something like that but i do want to get steel nerves so i can combine it with the damage cap because then if you have stout heart and steel nerves then you get a defense med you get extra defense so i want to get these in one of the subcategories i haven't found it so i want to get a stun power one to replace this and um I uplift i want to replace this with um steel nerves and that'll be great and then every build needs more elemental it allows you to do superior element no matter what and obviously you need your signature sigil and that gives you 50 percent damage cap for your raging fist which is your charge attack and crit for every rage you have times 10 right so guarantee crit you can also put portion hoarder whatever that slot for that style heart you can put portion ho potion hoarder any kind of defensive thing you want to put in there crab vestments Whatever, whatever you have. You can get Stout Heart from, from Treasure Trade, apparently. You can buy it right here with mats. I bought it. I think it's gone now. Oh, right here. All right, never mind. It's right here. Just, you can buy You can buy four more. And War Elemental is Curio only. Supplements, Curio only. Everything else you kind of get from... This, oh, this you can only get from the Trans Marvel. It's probably better to get it there. These you can get from Trans Marvel 2 and anywhere else. Just gotta get that quick link time. I need to level my link time. I need two more levels. Oh, no weapon. Got silver though. Yeah, he's God Bane. God's Bane. God's Bane. Yeah. Only one weapon? Dude, I didn't get anything. Yo, yo, it took three minutes and nine seconds. <laughs> 